Come with me on a quick before and after craft room tour. For those of you new here to my channel, welcome. I have a craft room in my home where I design wreaths for my Etsy shop, as well as create step-by-step -step tutorials here on YouTube. Welcome to Stillwater's Wreath Designs, come on in. Okay guys, we are now downstairs. My craft room is in my basement. It is approximately 16 by 20 finished. Um, and it looks like a tornado. So I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a little swipe through quickly. It's so bad, guys. Oh my gosh. And then once I've cleaned up this war zone, I will show you what it's looking like. Are you ready? Okay, so we're at the doorway now. And you guys, I really want to blame the fact that I've been nursing this injury for months, but really it boils down to laziness and this room is overwhelming. Okay, so we're walking in the door. I'm literally standing in the doorway. That's my photo prop wall. By the way, if you didn't catch the video of this Easter cross tutorial yesterday, it is so stinking beautiful. Make sure you catch that. But anyway, we've got the dreaded corner. Let me back up a little bit. We've got an overwhelmingly stuffed rack of signs. <laughs> guys oh my goodness look at this I really don't know if this should be on my YouTube channel or the hoarder show I'd say it's a close call look all right there's the reality of it all guys Okay, guys, excuse the red face, but this craft room no longer looks like a health hazard. Let me show you what I've done. Okay. So we're standing in the doorway. All of our shipping boxes that just came in haven't yet touched the baker's rack that holds all the signs. We'll save that project for another day. But look, it's the floor. Anything and everything that is left over Christmas and fall is tucked away nicely in totes. The shelf is organized. All of the wreaths that I bought on the Christmas clearance sale from Hobby Lobby are now down here and out of the back of my car. All the wreaths that didn't haven't sold yet are hanging nicely. Lots and lots of storage, wreath frames, swag bases, all the things. Flowers are all tucked away nicely into their spot. You can nearly see the top of my work table. All the deco mesh is tucked away. Ribbon is rolled back up and put away. You guys, it's not a bonkers mess anymore. I still need to run the vacuum and deal with all those signs on that shelf, but we will deal with that later. So let me just show you real quickly. I get a lot of questions about how I store my ribbon. You guys, my studio, like I mentioned earlier, is about 16 by 20, so it's a decent size, but I definitely need to maximize all of my space. So these are actually some cheap shoe shelves that I got from Amazon that honestly, unless it were kids' shoes, I don't really see how they would hold them, but they hold ribbon lovely. I would say... Gosh, I counted once and I think it was like 80 per shelf. So a total of 160 rolls. And then I put my wider rolls on the top. 
because it offers more height. And they just tuck away nicely behind my work table. So that's how I store my ribbon. And then my flowers. If you didn't see that video I posted last spring, if you're newer to the channel, my husband made me what I call a flower wall. And it's basically just some two by fours. Let me see if I can show you here that he nailed to the studs in the wall. And then I just got some cheap Dollar General bathroom trash cans. And he secured them on those two by fours with some washers. And voila, all of my florals are nice and off the floor. Okay, let me show you how I store my mesh. So this is my work table. This is where I do basically all of my designing and creating. My husband actually made this for me. And so these are just cube storage units that I got from Amazon. I've got a nine cube here. And then I've got a six cube on this end, which holds all of my shipping labels and bubble wrap and things like that. Six cube storage shelf here. And then the top of my work table, let me turn this way guys, is just an old door that we had in the garage that we cleaned up and he literally nailed to the top of those cube storage. So it makes a fantastic workstation. So there's how I do all of my storing. Let's do one more quick pan here because it won't be this clean again <laughs> until next January or February. So you walk in the door and we've got a baker's rack full of signs. My design and crafting table with the ribbons tucked in behind. Here you can see my gooseneck. So when I'm recording all my designs, that's where my phone's at. My floral wall, lots of wreath forms, and bases are stored over here on the side wall. Some extra storage at the top. I've got a garment rack that I hang the wreaths I'm, that are waiting to sell. Another storage shelf. An old dresser from my kid's toy room that holds a lot of miscellaneous things. My little shipping station, if you can see it tucked away off to the side. That's how I put my labels. More pine bases. Storage, storage, storage. Lots of shelving. And the corner of Christmas and fall. And then this is the wall. This is kind of my photo wall. This is where I take all the pictures of my end product to post on Etsy and share on my videos. So it's just a door that we painted black and leaned up against the wall. And then I've got a photo prop behind it, a couple of ring lights, and then some shipping boxes that just came in. That's it, guys. She's as clean as it's going to be. There we have it, guys. Happy crafting.